Good evening, everyone. This is Gary Bennett. Welcome to Objective C for Absolute Beginners. This is our uh, YouTube course, if you will. I do them every Wednesday night um, for free at excelme.com. You can go there and log on to our forum and um, sign up so you get the uh, go to webinar access if you want to attend live. If not, they're posted within a couple hours after um, I start my course or after I stop recording. And again, they're just um, I pick a topic uh, from my book or that students are having questions with and I go ahead and try to cover it over the next 10 minutes which is different from my app my actual courses that I that I do on every Monday and Wednesday night for an hour where I, I cover the entire section or chapter um, over that hour or two alright so tonight um, have had a lot of questions about the Xcode debugger so I wanted to kinda of give a basic introduction um, to it how to debug your application what it's used for some tricks and techniques and um, and then at the conclusion of this live webinar I'll stop it and then answer those uh, questions that are attending live um, that you might have so let's go ahead and get started I'll go ahead and open up Xcode and I'm just gonna create a new project here let's say file new project and this is just gonna be a basic objective C um, application um, it really doesn't matter right now but what we're doing with it and I'm just gonna call it uh, debugger save it to my desktop and it popped up in the other window over here I'm gonna go ahead and maximize it and I'm gonna go ahead and open up the main entry point for the application which for all applications regardless if it's an Objective-C application C++ or iPhone iPad app is going to be inside main um, so we're going to look at it um, here and I'm going to kind of walk you through what you can do with the debugger make a little sample application well first of all you want to just if you haven't already there's a couple preferences that you want to turn on in Xcode one is that you like to see these line numbers over here and that's inside of our gutter and so you can go ahead and turn on your line numbers you can do that the other thing that you may want to do is you may want to be able to um, see the console when it starts up and so change it from do nothing to show console and that will actually show you the output of your application and if you haven't already if it's not checked for you auto clear debugger console that clears it every time you start up the application hit apply and when you build your basic application, whether it be an iPhone, iPad, Objective-C, Xcode makes a template for you to get started so you don't have to remember and do all this stuff on your own. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and run the, this application that we built that just says Hello World. Okay, there it is. It prints to the, uh, our, um, our uh, console, uh, the output of the application, it's calling it Hello World and let's just make a just a real quick loop here that will go ahead and um, um, print um, for x is equal let's go ahead and print hello world uh, 10 times Uh, let's just do x is less than uh, 3 and so let's go ahead and print out hello world three times well I wrote my application and it prints it out four times why did it print it out four times well let's just say it's not obvious to you which most bugs aren't initially why it did that well we'll go to the section of code that we believe that it's happening on we're gonna set what's called a breakpoint we're gonna stop our application from executing um, and we can step through it line by line and see what's going on so I'm gonna set a breakpoint um, I'm going to click in the gutter and it's going to set a breakpoint right there on line 7. And I'm going to run the application now, build and debug, and it's going to stop the execution of uh, the application on line 7. It's telling me right here 
that it stopped at execution on line 7. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to step through our code and see what's going on and look at our variables. Well, here we can see if I hover over my variables that I want that I'm using, you can see x is some 32,767. Well, that's because x hasn't been initialized yet because this line of code hasn't been executed. For those of you that are still new to Objective C programming, I cover the syntax and our basic functions in another, uh, both in my Objective C course, but in uh, some of the 10 minute videos that I do on YouTube if you haven't already looked. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and step step over, which is going to execute that line of code, and you can see it's now going to print hello world. Okay, let's look at what x is. We'll hover over it. x is now 0, and when this line completes, x is going to be initialized, or x is going to be incremented by 1. That's what this x++ does, in case you're not familiar with the syntax. So now x has been incremented. It's now, we've printed to our console and we can see our console by clicking on it. We've printed it once so far. X is now equal to 1. We're going to print, we printed it again two times and X is now going to be equal to because we're now going through it the third time of our of our loop. And we can see that it printed it three times and I want it to stop after three times. Is it going to stop? No, it's going to print it again. Well, that's because x is equal to 3, and that's what we said it, we, we programmed it to do. It's not what we wanted to do. Well, we wanted to print it 3 times instead of 4. So because this is 0 indexed, which I'll talk more about in my Objective-C class and how 0 indexing works, but we want it to only go through it 3 times. So instead of less than or equal, we want to say x is um, less than 3. And we'll go ahead and stop our execution of our application. We'll rerun it, and let's see if that corrects our, our problem. Going through the first time, the second time, going to do it the third time, and after this time it should stop. So what's x equal? x is equal now to, actually did I lose my count here? Okay, so x is equal to, it hasn't been incremented yet because it hasn't completed it. Okay, x was, it stopped x goes out of scope and our application only printed hello world three times. Alright, so that's some basic debugging techniques. I'll talk more about it next week when we get into doing uh, memory allocation and detecting memory leaks with our instrumentation tool that Xcode provides, which is under um, our run and our leaks and that will bring up a separate application that we can use to detect leaks in our iPhone iPad applications because the iPhone does not have garbage collection and memory management and releasing your memory becomes very important so I'll talk about how to do that next Wednesday night at the same time alright again welcome look forward to seeing you next Wednesday and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe on my YouTube channel so when these um, uh, updates happen and I release new videos you get notified automatically Thanks everybody. For those of you that are attending live, hang on when I stop the recording and I'll be happy to address any of your questions both from tonight's uh, session and uh, anything in the book, at least for the next 15-20 uh, minutes or so.